Key number two of a leader's idea two, the four areas of benefit. Now that you've effectively shared your idea with your boss, higher ups, or your team, they may have questions of how it benefits the company. And because you're a leader and you watch this video, you know that there's not one area of benefit. There are four areas of benefit. How does your idea benefit the company, the leaders, your boss or bosses, employees under you, and customer and clients? If you do not know the answers to these questions, it may leave you looking embarrassed and your idea laying dead on the floor. So number one, how does your idea positively impact and benefit the company? How does your idea benefit the company's reputation, products? How does it affect delivery of service? How does it help in those areas? The second area of benefit, how does it positively benefit your boss? What pain does your idea take away from your boss? Please know that your boss has a million worries, a million responsibilities, and some of them are very painful. Some of them are things that they don't want to do and it's not their superpower. Does your idea take something off of their plate? Does it take pain away? Is your idea the medicine for their pain? And also, does your idea help them to look good? Believe me, there's some things you need to protect your bosses from. You always want to protect their blind side so they're not blindsided with problems that you knew about or could have fixed before it got to them. And also your work makes them look great. So does your idea do that? Number three, your employees. The people under you. The people under you that will actually be doing and implementing your idea. Does it benefit them at all? What pain does it take away and are you the medicine? Is your idea the medicine? Does it streamline and better uh, help them do a process that's frustrating for them? Do they need to be trained to do it? If so, will you be doing it? Will someone else be doing it? Is it an in-house training? Is it a web uh, webinar that they can watch that you put together? Is it an out-of-house training that they have to attend? These are all questions that when you have the answer to right up front, makes your idea fly with powerful wings. And lastly, the area of benefit number four is customers and clients. At the end of the day, it all comes down to customer and client satisfaction. Does your idea benefit the customer in, regard, in regards to how they're receiving your product, how they're using your product, customer service, within your organization and leaders and frontline services to the customer or client. How does your idea benefit? How does it benefit the company? How does it benefit your leaders? How does it benefit those under you that are implementing it? And how does it benefit your customers and clients? Have the answer to that and watch your idea grow wings. Guys, thanks so much and stay tuned for key number three.